Hello everybody, it is I, the conservative coin collector, and normally I just cover coins and dollar bills and, you know, that's my usual niche. But I also look to bring you one-off videos every once in a while. Today's one-off video is, it's, it makes me really happy. I'm like a kid on Christmas. And this box is my brand new... Walsh Microcut Paper Shredder. It it's, uh, can shred 10 pages at a time. And it can't shred paper clips. And it's like, this is all the stuff that you can't do with it. Like, it can zap you. No kids. Paper clips sticking your fingers in there. Ties, necklaces or jewelry. Long hair spraying it. And I have meat sausages that can't fit in here to put the life of me. But, uh, I thought I could do a uh, little bit of a review of it. And if you take a look at the bin, I've been testing it out and using it. And I thought it would just be a, a, a good to, uh, to test it. Not only can it shred paper, but it can also shred credit cards and uh, DVDs and CDs. I want to show you how quiet this thing is. This is the quietest paper shredder I have ever had, and I can keep on continuing with it. Let's see if I can fit this in there. This is a recipe for mashed potatoes that my mom doesn't want anymore. It doesn't really matter how you fit it in there, just so long as you get it in there straight. And I got a uh, highlighter. It's a brochure for a camp that's about an hour from my house. And of course, I have that on, off, and reverse. And if you take a look at the shreddings inside here, I mean, I've been using it, so it's going to be kind of full. You can pack it down there. And this is the shredding. It's basically confetti at this point. And if you take your security as seriously as I do, you want confetti like this. And I can show you how it tests, how it shreds DVDs and CDs. Here's a CD here. Let's see the debris there. Here's the debris of the CD or DVD. Shreds it into multiple pieces. I mean, it's not totally impressive. It's not like the confetti you see here. But what I do find impressive is it comes with a separate bin. I have other shredders, older shredders. I don't have a separate bin for the CDs and DVDs but the foresight to come with a separate bin so you can recycle the paper and dispose of the plastic properly that's, that's pretty nice and I mean I could definitely do a better job disposing of the disposing of these but I mean it's not bad you're definitely not getting anything off of this but uh this is my uh no paper shredder. And I can show you the instruction manual here. I mean, it's very thin because it's a paper shredder. There's really not much to it. It's a Walsh Microcut Paper Shredder CD290P. It's an operation manual. Gives you the shred type and the size. It's about 5 gallons, 0.7 gallon bin. Shredding capacity of 10 sheets, this dimensions, shredding speed and uh, time it can uh, work. You get, it gives you the symbols that I uh, showed you on the, on the shredder. The uh, warning sign, you know, breathe user, sharp edges, moving parts. 
you know, don't let kids use this. Do not insert uh, paper clips in the cutting head. Don't reach in the feed. Make sure you know your loose hair and neckties aren't uh, near the shredder because it'll suck you in. And keep uh, aerosol cans away. It, it can cause a flame. The apparition manual here kind of just gives you uh, everything there. And they're basically 10 sheets of paper maximum, one piece of credit card or CDs and DVDs maximum. And always unplug shredder before attempting to remove an item manually. Because you could electrocute yourself and you don't want that happening. And then this is kind of like the rules on the back here. It's pretty much it's pretty much a third a third reminder of all these. They want to make these shredders idiot proof. And they sure did. But this is my uh, new Walsh uh, paper shredder. I have other paper shredders I've used in the past. I actually have three of them in storage. And another three that I've gotten rid of over the years. Because they were just old and I hate to dispose of them. But uh, yeah. I continue with uh, shredding some more here. And uh, leave it with us. My name is the Conservative Coin Collector. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you want. And if you want to see more coin-related stuff, it's coming right up. Well, with that being said, I'm signing off. So long, everybody.